good leaders know how to follow. I put up this alpha male thing the other day. I, I started going on t Twitter again. And I talked about how these guys who, who say there's no such thing as an alpha male, it's because they hate authority and they hate um, hierarchy. It's, a, it's the same thing. It's this attitude that, that sets us outside of the order of man. Men are in order. There's an order of man. But when you feel bad about being a follower, you feel bad about knowing that somebody's an authority to you, when you feel bad about the fact that there's a hierarchy, you can't get anywhere. You can't go anywhere. You stay stuck. These guys call it Sigma male. They think that's clever. All that means is you checked out, took your ball, and went home. I know that there's a hierarchy. I know there are men that are better than me. That, you know what that does? That gives me hope. I know that there are men that are below me. You know what that gives me? A sense of responsibility. Without hope and a sense of responsibility, because I'm a sigma male, I'm just doing what I want to do, you check out of the order of man. There's nothing to be proud about that. Sorry, sigma, sigmas, you're not playing the masculine game. Men work in hierarchies. We recognize hierarchy. We venerate authority. And we have a sense of responsibility for those who are beneath us. It's okay. It's okay to be a leader and have people behind you. And it's okay to venerate those that are ahead of you. I want us to, get, to start to recognize this again. But I understand it's deeply ingrained in our culture, and you know, even America was born, uh, just think about, it all started, not that it all started, but in, in this postmodern age with the French Revolution, and it was all, all this, this rebellious attitude that hates authority, that hates patriarchy, that hates masculinity, starts with, well, first of all, it's always been an attack against the Catholic Church. It started with uh, um, Luther, right? I'm, che I'm checking out of the order. I don't like how they did some things. There's always going to be people above you that are doing things that you don't like, but you check out. That's, you protest. Now I'm a protester. I'm stepping out. I'm not doing the thing anymore. He was a priest. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to start my own church. Totally destroyed Christendom in the West. right? And then... They took it even further with the French Revolution. So Martin Luther took himself out of the order of the church, the universal church, the true church. Then they took it one step further with the Freemasonic-led movement of, of uh, the French Revolution, which is now we're just going to kick out God. So men have, men have removed themselves from the order of man and from the cosmic hierarchy. You have, no, you have no authority. There's no Jesus, Christ, and there's no God the Father. That's a part of the reason why our society sucks, y'all. Effeminacy. All this rebelliousness is effeminacy. Who is the first rebel in the garden? Eve. Y'all are acting like women when you can't respect authority and love hierarchy. Did you know that there's a secret psychological and social war on masculinity in the West since at least the 1960s? If you think I'm crazy, you need to watch my new free masterclass. You'll learn the history and origin of this war as well as how it's affecting your health, your finances, and how females respond to you. If you're a man who's open to a compelling vision of traditional masculinity, financial freedom, success with women, and generous leadership, then you'll definitely want to study this class. It's called Make Men Strong Again, how millions of men are fighting back and winning the war against masculinity. Just click the link in this video or visit MakeMenStrongAgain.com and get this brand new masterclass. It's completely free. It will blow your mind and has a ton of value and it's about 40 minutes long. So make sure that you pay attention and take notes. Why am I sharing this? I'm a mentor to millions of men worldwide on YouTube. So I'm familiar with the biggest reasons why men today are failing in so many areas of their life. And the answer will rock your world but it's not totally your fault. Find out what's really going on. Click the link in this video to watch this class and start taking action today.